KFSR and CMAC present the Central Valley Ledger, a public affairs program featuring stories from all over the Central Valley with Sivag Tediosian, 90.7 KFSR. Welcome to another edition of the Central Valley Ledger. We're recording on Skype at the beautiful Community Media Access Collaborative Studios in downtown Fresno. Today we're going to be talking about an upcoming performance in Fresno. This group is very, very popular. They perform around the world and you might have heard about them. The group is called Cirque de Soleil. We have Johan Justine in who is a juggler with the program. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. So. Before we get into, did I say that right, by the way, Cirque du Soleil? I've always wanted to practice with someone who knows how to say it. Cir Cirque du Soleil. I was close. Yeah, it was close. It was close, yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. You're a juggler in the show? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm 26 years old. I come from Finland. The way I started juggling was uh, I actually saw Cirque du Soleil on TV when I was 10 years old, so it's 17 years old, and uh, the show was just amazing. Uh, I don't know what exactly it was, but the, I just got a spark that this is what I want to do with my life. So after the show was done on TV, I went to my backyard with three tennis balls. I started practicing. After one week, I learned to juggle with three balls, and then I continue and continue. And now after 17 years, I'm working with the company who made me start. I love that story because you went to your backyard to practice and all of a sudden now you're in the show. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Johan, tell us a little bit about where you are right now. Are you on the road? Or are you out in a performance? Yeah, right now we are in Charlotte and uh, we are um, for the moment in the arena like uh, preparing for the, for the show that we have tonight. And... Uh, yeah, just preparing for the shows we're going to run here, right? So you're always at shows, right? I mean, you're performing around around the clock all the time. Uh, kind of, yeah, it's uh, five to, four to five days a week we perform, and then we have a couple of days off when we travel to the next and we're going to, like, uh, they take down our stuff from the city, next arena, and we, yeah, we have a few days off, and then we continue, and we do this for a 10-week period, and then we have a two-week uh, two break, so they send us home for a vacation. We come back again after two weeks and continue. Ten weeks and tour, two weeks at home, ten weeks and tour, and two weeks at home. I want to ask you about how did you feel the first time you were out in stage in front of people ready to juggle? The first time, yeah. I was uh, I was really nervous because I had never done that before, but uh, I was also super excited to go on stage and do it. But uh, yeah, the fe feeling was between like horrifying and great at the same time. It was like super fun to do it, but at the same time like super you were super nervous. Like, you're gonna you're gonna fail or you're gonna look bad or whatever. But uh, but uh, I really enjoyed it. And uh, when you came off the stage, it was uh, a great feeling that you want to do it again and then you just keep going and now I'm doing the same show for for more than 100 times so now it feels uh, that I am all excited to see some performance too so you not always know like okay what's going to happen but you always do your best but but you know it feels good tell us a little bit about why you chose juggling what was it about juggling I don't know for me uh, may I do something with my hands I always been interesting in in objects and how everything is manufactured and so on. For example, uh, uh, different kind of plastics. I'm also a carpenter, so I work a lot of, uh, with wood. And I'm always interested in how anything goes from scratch to a finished product. Even we talk about chalkboards or pool tables or whatever. Um, I've always been interested in different kind of objects. So I think that has something to do with that I want to use my hands for what I do. And, and the juggling props looks cool. And when you toss a lot of things in the air, it, I don't know, looks good and feels nice to do. What should people expect when they come out? Yeah, so this show is uh, unique compared to the other circular shows in a way that we have a, uh, the, when you're in the arena, the stage is in the middle of the floor, and then we have audience on both sides of the stage, and we have two backstage areas, which has an entrance to the stage, so you have two entrances to the stage, which creates many more 
possibilities with choreographies and like artists coming from both directions and everything uh, everything like that so you can and depending on which side you uh, sit on like watching the show you see it in a different way which also makes it unique that people on on stage right doesn't they don't see the same what people see in uh, on stage left because there's a little bit different angles and everything so it's it's unique in that way plus that usually in certain select performances the uh, artists are more like uh, fantasy kind of characters with crazy 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 makeup and crazy costumes and uh, and some but we are actually normal humans in this show so that that makes it also a lot different so I would say if you have not if you have a chance to come see the show I definitely want to do it you'll be in Fresno performing uh, in this is it a circus or what can people call it if they don't know what to call it well, it is it is a circus, yes. So what else can we expect? Like chandeliers? I was looking at the pictures, and there's a beautiful chandelier in one scene. There's a lot of makeup. There's a lot of nice dresses. Talk about some of the performers and what they'll look like. So what the, what the whole story is about is our main character, or main clown character named Mauro, and he's dreaming about his funeral in a kind of carnival, fun kind of atmosphere. And the whole story is, uh, it's a celebration of life, and he's dreaming, he's dreaming in a way that he's going through all his life and all these different characters that do different acrobatic skills that he wants to do in his life. And then he just like uh, get back to these memories, like mem memorizing all the, or remembering all these, uh, all these different things that happened during his life. And we also are hanging in the chandeliers and doing aerials, aerial stuff there. So they're just like swinging around in the air and do crazy acrobatical movements in like while spinning in the air. And then we have trampoline beds that made like two beds into trampolines that some of our acrobats jumping on there like kids. So kids playing on the bed and throwing pillows at each other and pillow fighting and all these things. And we have a teeter board act where uh, people uh, somewhat, uh, how many, we have five guys who jump on the teeter board and they do crazy flips in the air and land back on the board and then the next one jumping on the other side and back and forth, jumping in the air and doing crazy acrobatic stuff. And then we have the juggling, what I do, suspended pole, which is a uh, metal pole that's hanging loose in the air. And then one of our acrobats doing crazy, crazy acrobatic moves on the pole while it's hanging in the air. It sounds like there's a lot of action, right? I mean, a lot of moving parts. Oh yes, definitely a lot of, lot of things going on. And I definitely think that with this many different, uh, I'm sure everyone who come to watch will find something, something interesting in the show for sure. So what's your record? How many things can you juggle at one time? Uh, my record of objects right now is uh, nine. That's incredible. If I do ball or ring juggling, I can do up to nine balls, clubs, seven with Diabolos, I can do four. Practicing five, but five is really hard right now, so <laughs> yeah, not, not the easiest. So we're going to show a, a short clip of the show, and then we'll come back and we'll talk to you a little bit some more.
Welcome back. We're recording out of the beautiful studios here in downtown Fresno, Community Media Access Collaborative Studios in downtown Fresno. Our guest is Johan. He's a juggler with this program, Cirque du Soleil. Johan, my accent, I can't say it. I don't know why it's so tough. I, I would think I could say it. I speak Armenian fluently and it sounds, you know, similar. No, no, you said it good. That was good. <laughs> so, Johan, you're a juggler. How did you practice juggling? The way I practiced, uh, well, in the beginning I practiced more. So I would say practice maybe three to five hours a day and just uh, just on my, my own in my room or in my backyard, just like trying to make the object fly and trying to find new tricks and everything. So I just... I randomly just tried different things and see, oh, maybe this is possible, maybe this is possible. And later on, I found YouTube, which is a really good, there's a lot of tutorials and a lot of inspiration, other jugglers juggling and so on. So I just started watching a lot of videos and got inspiration from there. Like, oh, oh, that's a nice trick. I could try that and, and so on. And then I started to create more of a like a program in a way that when I go to training okay I, I start with three objects then I go to four objects then five objects and six and so on so I always build up from like smaller amounts to bigger amounts and then same with the tricks I do I do an easy variation of a trick then I go do a little bit harder and always like push myself like forward and forward and try to try to improve with that and with all the different uh juggling props I use, I do kind of the same thing. I start with the easy things and then I go to harder things and and that's the way I that's the way I train. So you're in Charlotte right now. You have an upcoming performance in Charlotte. Are you nervous? Do you still get nervous before the shows? Uh yeah, there's like a uh, like a small kind of exciting uh like nervous nervous like exciting nervous feeling in a way that it's always a different audience different city and you you never know like how the audience is going to be the next show and so on so i'm uh i'm really excited and there's always like a little uh little like nervous spark if you can say that that uh, that uh in juggling that if you drop or something that it's uh it's kind of a failure on stage so you don't want those things but always like try to think as possible as possible like the next one go better always stay on the positive every day can't be perfect you always have your best how long do you practice for this because a lot of people who see it are in awe that everything works so well usually now we one well, now when we have a working act we've been doing on stage so many times we practice maybe like an hour a day for uh, three to four times a week so it's it's less practice now than in the beginning but but also depending on, depending on how uh how the act is going let's say if uh, last night was uh, uh we might do a little more practice like concentrating on what we're doing and so on but uh i also practice a lot of my own uh own things in the uh in the background uh, with my partner so we do a lot of like tossing to each other uh, but uh, I do my solo training let's say in the morning before the practice session so I just practice some some things that I won't put on stage at least not in, not in this show but just trying to improve my juggling skills and so on and those things also prepare you for uh, for the practice later that we already have uh, like a structure and everything but just Sometimes I feel feel like okay now I want to practice more. Then I practice more, and now I'm just gonna like rest a little bit and like prepare myself for the show and get get like mentally re ready, physically ready, not be too tired when you do the show. So it it comes and comes and goes in waves like this. You are listening to the Central Valley Ledger. We're recording out of the beautiful downtown Fresno studios of the Community Media Access Collaborative Fresno and Clovis. We have an upcoming show in Fresno that people are excited about, the Cirque du Soleil show here at Fresno. We're excited. This is a show that's traveling around the nation, around the world. The show now is in Charlotte, and that's where Johan is. He's in Charlotte talking to us about the show. Johan is a as a juggler with the program. Johan, welcome again. Thank you, thank you. Johan, how important is 
partnerships in this? I mean, how important are your partners and the teamwork? I would say, in general, like with this whole production, that teamwork is very important. Uh, the stage is always filled with a lot of different characters. Even, let's say, someone is doing a solo number, there's still characters around constantly doing their own thing and interact with the with the with act so part uh, like communication and everything is very important and you like you have to trust the other artist and and everyone who's uh, working working there together so so it's very uh, it's very important that it's working and i've found for this like everything i have to do and all all my platoon and we all try to do as possible like, okay this is a little, a little bit worse tonight than last night but so on it's really like constant constantly communication between each other and just have to uh yeah just have to trust each other that like we are doing our job as good as possible when i've watched the shows they're always perfect they look good it looks like there's no mistakes whether someone is jumping or juggling or all kinds of things when when people mess up during the show, do you just keep going, or how does that work? Yeah, that's. I would say that's a general thing in show business. The show must go on. So even if there's a, if there's a, uh, if there's a small mistake or uh, whatever, what I what I usually want to think is, okay, how can I do a correction to get still like keep the audience interested and so on. So, so always when there's a mistake or something, we just keep going and like try to like keep the same energy and keep the same feeling and and just uh, just never give up <laughs> in a way. So tell us about your background some more. Are you originally from the United States? I read you're from Canada. No, uh, I, I studied at the National Circus School in Canada, uh, but I am originally from Finland and that's, that's where I permanently live uh, now too, yeah. So what is impressive to me about this show is that the talent is from around the world. We, you're from Finland, so it, it's natural or normal that many people are from around the world. Yeah, we have in this production we have a peop, uh, we have artists from 18 different countries, and uh, it's it's really interesting to see the different different cultures. Everyone has a different. Uh, well, different languages for uh, first thing, but we can still make this production uh, production work really well. So what I found really nice in the circus world in general that people are super open and it's really really nice environment. Usually, always always when you uh, when you work together. You know, a lot of people want to get into show business and entertainment. What are some of the challenges? that come with this lifestyle? Because look, it's fun. You know, you're traveling around the world, you're putting on a performance, people are enjoying it, but it can't all be beautiful sunshine. There has to be some challenges, correct? Uh, yeah, correct. Uh, yeah, show business is, uh, it's not the easiest uh, job to do in a way that, that um, because there's, uh, especially with circus, there's not that many work opportunities going on around in the world. Like the biggest thing that's happening in the world. So, so if there's some some events or something, there's uh, you need like artists for those. But there's not that m many in general. So there's a lot of artists constantly looking for work, but because all the spots are already taken, so sometimes it's really hard to find a find a job, which. Uh, uh, which also, yeah, which create like uh, sometimes uh, harder period. It's all about having the uh, contacts. It's, it's constantly a lot of lot of work. It's actually more office work than than training and performing. So the show continues to Charlotte tonight. Uh, talk about your day today. So you got up. Did you perform or? And how important is healthy eating in this? Because you know, I'm sure you got to keep your energy up. Yeah. Well. Uh, my my typical day is I wake up I wake up in the morning. Sometimes I uh, I have a breakfast. I go I go do some workout. I do some cardio. I do some juggling. R depending on the mood, I don't do every day exactly the same, but a lo little bit like a variation in what I do. And uh, of course, eating is healthy. I try to eat healthy as possible. I have maybe like a like cheat day once a week or 
something like sometimes more often that really like depending on like how you feel if you feel like you can do it then like more uh, bad but in in general like I, i do i try to eat as healthy as possible and and stay in shape by going to the gym doing some cardio and get enough rest during the night and and yeah So we're almost out of time, Johan, but let me show a quick video and then we'll come back and conclude the show. back and we have Johan uh, here from Charlotte. He's getting ready to perform in tonight's show. Johan, so tonight's show in Charlotte that you're going to be doing, what are some of the things that is going through your mind right now? How do you mentally prepare for this? Uh, right now, well, because I've been doing the show so many times that now I can, now I'm kind of like relaxed and don't think too much about the show actually think more about uh, like ev- any everything else is going on uh, with like okay I need to what do I need to do tomorrow I need to do some laundry and all these things so like every day like basic things that doesn't have anything to do with show and uh, not <laughs> yeah I don't think much about the show at all right now and soon I have to start doing my makeup so that's one thing that popped up in my mind right now but but not just just relaxing actually you know be, being on the road there are little things that we take for granted when we're at our house uh, tell us a little bit about life on the road uh well yeah at least our production uh or in Cirque du Soleil in general when there's an arena tour that we uh, we change city once a week so we perform four or five days and then we then we transfer to the next city and and have a call off and do the same over and over again so it's really it's really interesting in a way to see uh now when we're in north america to see the north american culture all the different states all the different cities how how different they are and depending on if you're in the south in the in the west in the in the east in the north or wherever that it's really interesting to see how how big the world is and how different everything is Johan, is this a kid-friendly show? Like, I have small kids, and sometimes I'm hesitant to take them places. Is this like a child-friendly program, or would you recommend adults? Absolutely for children, too. Uh, we see in uh, in every show, we see a lot of kids in the audience every night, and, and they they laugh a lot. They really like the show, and, and, and the parents seem to like it, too. So I would say this show is good for... Uh, I wouldn't say there's an age limit. You can be as young as possible. You can be as old as possible. I think it's a good show for anyone. 
Tell us why people should come see the show. For someone who's never seen a show by your production, what are they missing? Uh, well, if we talk about uh, Cirque du Soleil, the, the different Cirque du Soleil shows are, or in, in general, like all the uh, shows have uh, fancy costumes and crazy makeup and uh, and they're more like fantasy kind of characters, but our show is uh, unique in a way that we are normal humans who perform in uh, like normal human costumes. And then our the way our stage works is that we have audience on both sides of the stage. So the audience, depending on which side you sit, you will see the show in a different way. And we have two backstage areas we lead to two ramps that goes to the stage. That uh, So we have two entrances of the stage and two exits. So we have more possibilities of going back and forth on stage in different in different ways compared to the other production circuits that I do. So it's unique in a way that depending on where you sit in the audience, you're going to see the show in a different way. So that, that makes it uh, unique. Johan, we're going to show one more clip and then we're going to come back to you and we will end the show. Welcome back. We have Johan here from Charlotte, and he is a performer, a juggler with the Cirque du Soleil show. The show is coming to Fresno, folks. The show is coming to Fresno. We're excited because... Fresno and other cities around the nation and world love this production. Johan, one last time, why should we come out and see the program? Uh, yeah, the program is really, uh, really nice in a way that uh, there's audience of both sides of, of the stage and we have two ends to the stage. So we have possibilities to go back and forth in very unique ways and everything. And depending on where you sit in the audience, you will see the uh, show from a different point of view than others uh, who are in the audience and in uh, other places. So uh, I would say that makes it that makes it really unique that, that everyone sees sees a little bit differently. And uh, in general, it's, an, it's a nice it's a nice beautiful story. I would say it's definitely something for everyone to see. Thank you very much for being a guest this week on the program. I wish you luck tonight and. See you when you get to Fresno. All right. Thank you so much. See you in Fresno. That's all for this edition of the Central Valley Ledger. We've been recording out of the Community Media Access Collaborative Studios in downtown Fresno. Our guest has been Johan Jocelyn. He's with the Cirque du Soleil production. They're coming to Fresno, folks, so check your uh, time for that. And uh, he was here telling us a little bit about the production. The production now is in Charlotte. Hope you enjoyed the program this week. Tune in next week to a new edition. KFSR and CMAC present the Central Valley Ledger every Sunday morning at 1130. For a complete program schedule, visit KFSR.org.